Hi, this is Dr. Eric Westman with another edition of Ask Adapt for Adapt Your Life. This topic is mental clarity. Several questions about the mental clarity and I, let me just preface by saying there's no question that changing the diet, especially to a ketogenic diet, can affect the brain. This has been known for ages. In fact, the first mention of the use of fasting or fat metabolism or a keto diet was in the Bible. It was to, to fix or to, to treat uh, fits or seizures. And then you know, time passes and the Western medical world knew that by taking carbohydrate out of the food, that in some cases, childhood epilepsy could be um, improved or even uh, cured. And this is called the ketogenic diet kind of capital K and D, and as opposed to the keto diet that a lot of people are doing today, the ketogenic diet is a specific diet to treat epilepsy, the, a brain condition. Uh, so there's no question that changing the food can affect the brain. But now changing seizures, fixing seizures, is a, you know, it seems like a monumental change in brain function. And I, I would say, yes, it is. So when you get to more mild changes of brain function, you might um, have anxiety or, or depressed mood, or these are all changes, uh, we would say, uh, ab um, normal fluctuations for people in a certain range. But then if it gets outside a normal range, if it becomes obsessive, you might be diagnosed with a mental illness that gets into major depression, bipolar disorder, things like that. Now, that's uh, the use of the ketogenic diet. And in fact, we're finding new conditions that can be affected favorably all the time now that studies can be done on the ketogenic diet. And remember, it's just taking carbohydrates away from the diet. Now, you're probably doing this uh, not to fix seizures, not to fix major depression or bipolar disorder. It, you might be doing uh, a diet change, doing the keto diet for just improving your uh, uh, mental clarity. Ah, that's what we're talking about, mental clarity. So a lot of people will change the way they eat to feel better. The absence of uh, obsessive thoughts of hunger is a very uh, common reason people continue eating a ketogenic way. And mental clarity and focus is probably the second most common reason. Now, in my experience, not everyone gets that feeling and definitely uh, it might not happen immediately. Uh, and then there's another component of this is if you're just using ketones or taking ketones and you're eating carbohydrates, that introduces another aspect of it. Um, uh, if you're doing a nutritional ketosis, if you're in uh, uh, nutritional ketosis, meaning you're not eating carbohydrates, it may take some time for you to feel that mental clarity or, or focus, um, and you may not feel it at all. So in my experience, I, I treat lots of people across all sorts of ages and, and uh, uh, for different diseases or, or just so that people feel better, and not everyone feels it. Some people feel a, a difference immediately. Some people, uh, it takes months or years to feel things. Uh, and uh, so uh, again, that statement that everyone's different and your mileage may vary is important. And we're learning all, uh, uh, all the time about these new products where you can actually manipulate ketone levels or even with uh, medium chain triglyceride or coconut oil or butter can manipulate ketone levels. And a lot of people notice they feel more mental clarity, but some people don't. Um, so to the questions, Miriam asks, I've heard that adopting a low carb diet helps with brain fog. Is this true? Well, now there's another aspect to consider. When you take carbohydrates away from the food, sugars and starches away, you're not having the effect of sugars and starches. So Miriam, if the brain fog was from the carbohydrates, meaning the slump in the afternoon after lunch, because you had carbohydrates at lunch, then that's going to be gone. I mean, almost immediately, people feel the absence of the bad effects of carbohydrates. So really, there are two things going on. You may be getting the benefit of a ketone level, and you may be benefiting from not eating the carbohydrates that gave you that slump or brain fog 
to begin with. So actually, there's even, it's the benefit of both rather than trying to figure out which one it is. In my mind, uh, it doesn't matter to me which one it is. Uh, Godfrey asks, I have noticed a sharpness in my mind since going keto. Why is this? Well, so the specific mechanism of why people feel more sharpness, more clarity is not known. And uh, the ketone level, of course, is a factor that you can measure. Some people have told me that the ketone level affects how they feel and they want to be in a certain ketone level. But that's, a, um, that's very not usual in my practice. Most people don't measure their ketones and correlate that. But that um, doesn't mean it can't happen. Um, Suzanne asks, I've been keto for three weeks and haven't noticed a difference in mental clarity. Am I doing something wrong? And again, Suzanne, maybe not. Uh, not everyone feels that immediately. Three weeks, you're still uh, in this kind of adaptation phase or, or switching over from carb burning to fat burning. Uh, we know in, athlete, in um, elite athletes, they take six months to maximize their potential in athletic performance uh, eating this way. So it doesn't, it wouldn't surprise me if the brain function might take that long for total optimization as well. Um, so uh, it's amazing that you can change it at all, especially depending on your age. You may have been eating carbohydrates for 10, 20, 50 years. Give it some time uh, for it to kick in. Patty asks, this is a welcomed effect of going keto, the mental clarity. Can you explain why it happens again? Uh, the mechanism is not really known, but the good news is it's being studied now. Uh, there are uh, conferences and, and research centers uh, around the world, including two uh, or three in the US. Um, we look forward to the Metabolic Health Summit in January, in early, late January, early February in Southern California. This is one of the premier scientific conferences on the ketogenic or metabolic therapeutic uh, health effect kind of diet. So I don't know for sure, but I hope we'll find out the exact mechanism and maybe that can be leveraged into some sort of medication or supplement um, uh, that um, would be more accessible to more people. So that's uh, uh, Mental Clarity. I'm Dr. Eric Westman for Adapter Life. Please subscribe below so you don't miss out and leave your comments and questions. Until the next time.